shoot anything besides I guess we're starting. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening. Hi Don. Hi Don. Hi Don. How are you guys? Hi. Good. Share a screen here. Hmm. All right. Any questions before we get going? Any questions, comments? Just, there we go. Um, you had mentioned that if we have something to go off to, if you could do us, let you sure. know so you could do us earlier. Yep, not a problem. So I'd like to make that request. This not, is Terry. Not a problem, Terry. We'll go and find you. Anybody else? All right. Let's mm -hmm. find Terry. What's it a picture of, Terry? It's Greek food. Greek food. There we go. Put you behind the scene. No. Is there a behind the scene? Yeah, there, the yeah, your fingers on it there. Yeah. Yep. Got it. All right. Okay. That's nicely done. Now that doesn't really look like art to me, Terry but it does look like a very good food shot. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Uh, it, it is a nice food shot for sure. Um, let's look at your lighting real quick. Cause I think, okay. So you're using this one as your fill. This is your main. Yeah. Okay. And I also had a, um, a reflection, a reflector card in the front just to add in light at the front there for the pita bread and stuff got it because this looks really good down here change color yeah. see it that looks really good down here this looks really good you got that limit right the, at just the right angle but got some good looking highlights down the side of this and you, it's a little bit darker back here so it stands out that looks really good i just think maybe we could pop these vegetables a little more okay a little more contrast, bring the highs up just a little bit. Um, this, you, you even got the sauce lit up nice. This is this is very nicely done. The reason I bring that up on this on this is I think your fill light, the one on this side, is just a little too bright. If you know, okay. I mean, just like one tick down. We're not letting we're not letting the dimension of the food. You know, there's like no shadow in the tomatoes. They're just lit from both sides. Um, so the, the, I would I would do that. Now what you would do, or how, are you good in Photoshop, Lightroom, et cetera? Um, reasonable. Okay. So if you're good at, yeah, I would bring your highlights up, bring your shadow, shadows down, just add a little crunch, you know, use the brush, highlight it in, and then just use a little bit of contrast with your brush. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have to admit, it, I, I can honestly say I didn't take a lot of time artistically because I was really crunched with work this week. So mm -hmm. I just I'm happy I even got something done. <laughs> well, it's a it's a nice food shot. If this was for a restaurant or something, they'd be totally happy with it. They'd be they'd be thrilled. Okay, well, I'll listen to see see everyone else's creativity kick in then and take All some right. notes from that. Thank yeah. you. Very good. All right, let's go back to the top then. Uh, all righty. All right, Michael. How's it going? Good. Cool. Did you do the steam in the um, in the shot, Michael, or was that Photoshop brush? No, that's in the shot. Okay. Now, you like once again, once again on this one, I don't know that this is an artistic approach to it. Um, 
as a as a shot, uh, it looks like a it looks like a uh, Dunkin' Donuts ad that I would see. Um, so there's nothing wrong with that. I do want you to bring that horizon down, though. Okay. That horizon right up there. The nice thing about fixing it at horizon is you can you know, bring it right down to there and Photoshop, and no one would be the wiser. Okay. Um, just too much back there. Uh, I think the I think the box outweighs everything else on here because it's white. It's just so big and bright; it beats everything. But um, good light on the on the cup. This this would be a really good shot for Dunkin' Donuts as a as a uh, like an Instagram shot. If they're stuff up here, you know, twenty five percent off. That would be nice. Yeah, it's kind of how I how I set it up on there. So I wanted to leave room where they where it could be done. I, I did crop it and do another one with that on the same shot and takes out a lot of the white box. And it looks really good that way too when it's cropped down. But uh, yeah, if I would see it like this, I would probably go with a vertical like this. Yeah, I think that's what I did on the crop. Yeah. And then the donuts are right up to the front of this thing. Here, what's hurting your shot is there's so much of this, right? And then right there, this is like totally unused, uninteresting stuff. Here's your shot right here. Uh, we got enough of the box that it says box. We don't have to be, we don't have to be told what that is. We know what that is. Uh, and that makes the donuts then realize that the donuts are now fully a third of the shot in there. Yeah. Very good. If you gave oh, me a uh, shot as an art director, uh, that's probably what I would have ended up doing with this. Cropping it vertical, bring it in real tight, uh, and make it um, make the donuts pop out. I was happy just to get it all in one shot with uh, the steam as well as the highlights on the donuts. <laughs> so what's this grid doing? Oh, I'm just trying to isolate it so that I just get it behind this, the cup on the steam. It, it's just to help bring the steam out. Oh, okay. Let's go back and look at that steam again. All right. So it's really just, that is this light here. Am I right? Um, no, no, no. It's behind it. The grid, the grid on that snoot is behind uh, to the other corner. Over here? Back there. Yeah. Oh. Behind the steam. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's just really coming in on the steam right above the top of the coffee. Yeah, I can it where it wasn't hitting the cup at all. It maybe the lip a little bit. All right. Yeah. The rest of that's coming up. You have to backlight steam. Yep. It must be backlit. Yes. The the key light on this is coming from the opposite corner, a two foot by three foot uh, softbox that doesn't have a liner on it. I don't, oh, maybe that one did. I can't remember. But it, it was two by three softbox. Yeah, no liner, no no uh, diffuser, I should say. And it's got that uh, egg egg great grid to help keep it from scattering everywhere. And then okay. it bounces off the card across from it. And then you're bouncing this uh, snoot into a white card here. For yeah. And that basically just helps pick up some highlights on the on the donut frosting and stuff and the right white on, uh -huh. yeah cool nicely done nicely done sir rainy where's rainy i'm here hi rainy hi this, this is very cool thank you um it was a process to get there for sure because if you my behind the scenes is in the comments i think you got to scroll down for the it was like the first comment in the whole thing. So to go from the one that I struggled with, with the hot dog, and I was like, okay, I need to change directions. And I had already, so I went out and bought the fork and the glasses because I had an idea in mind. And then I just couldn't put it all together, I guess. So I started with the hot dog and just started mm -hmm. playing with it. And then, uh, and then I, I, I did the hot dog on the fork and I was like, okay, I really like that. And then I was like, but it was just plain. And, uh, you know, I, I had another one that had two hot dogs with the sunglasses and a friend of mine said, why don't you try the sunglasses with the one, one on the fork? I said, oh, okay. That's a brilliant idea. So, yeah. so here we are. <laughs> yeah, no, it, that's very cool. I mean, and, and it's very confusing to the eye. We don't, 
you know, when first when you look at it, you think, oh, this is sticking up in the air and the glasses are floating, but then we have the shadow under the glass. So we know the glasses aren't floating, they're sitting on a background. But if they're sitting on the background, why there's is there no shadow behind this? So it's actually in front of the background. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's just a fun, you know, it keeps your eye moving. That's really, it's really kind of fun. Yeah, it's very creative, really creative. Um, Thank you. I would, as far as I would say at this point, this is a proof of concept, okay? So okay. this is the shot. What you need is an absolutely perfect hamburger, I mean, hot dog bun. Okay. Where you're going to get one? I don't know. Yeah, I this is one know. of those specialty buns that have like the powdered something on the other side, which yep. you can't see because it's, you know, the way I forked it, but. <laughs> yep. Um, and then get a bigger hot dog. Mm -hmm. like uh you know like a like a big kosher dog right mm -hmm. and then be very specific how you put that mustard on you know like perfect yeah wiggle of mustard <laughs> like that practice it a few times and just leave it with that not the relish the relish is too busy okay just the hot big hot dog perfect bun on that skewer and then that little line of of mustard that will okay. be very cool be a killer shot when you get it done okay be a killer shot yep and can I just mention? I hate practice, put it on wax. wax paper. Yeah, so that you don't have to always buy, you know, a hot dog. You can practice on wax paper. I used to do. I used to decorate cakes, and so you have to practice. Mm -hmm. just, okay. Practice That's right. Well. That's right. Um, like shit, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, it was I, doing really good. And then all of a sudden the, the mustard exploded and I was like, oh no. <laughs> you know what you have, you know what you have to use to, to do the mustard correctly? You remember those old fat, they actually have them at the dollar store. There's a red one and a yellow one. These little the squeeze bottles. Tall squeeze bottles. Mm -hmm. You keep them, you keep it upside down. You store it upside down with the cap on it. And then when you pull it off, all the mustard's at the bottom and you don't get that air globule that you get when it's sitting right side mm -hmm. up and then you turn it and it'll it'll flow from there as well a little bit better don't stylists use those also for sauces and things like yes. that yeah they, those they are really nice to have yes and and uh a lot of uh of uh, uh food stylists use the things that they use for cake decorating you fill the little tube screw mm -hmm. it on take the air out and then you can just squeeze it just to you know, I put it that. where you want it, kind of thing. But that yeah, you know, that takes takes practice, but it's cool. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Yes, very super nice. And Dan. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did we see how she? Did we see how she lit it? Do we know mm -hmm. how she lit it? Yeah, it's in the comments. Oh, it's in the comments. That's right. Hold on. Yeah, so it's the same lighting setup. Um, I just took the plate of the other stuff out and put the fork in mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. the um, sunglasses. And this shot, this shot that you did was a nice food shot. It wasn't a, wasn't right for an art shot. Right. You had to get more design in it to be art, but this was not a bad food shot. Made me want to have a hot dog, so. <laughs> Can't beat that. You know, Brainy, and you're behind the scenes. It would be mm -hmm. funny if you had like a little fire extinguisher next to the book. <laughs> That's funny. Where's a fire extinguisher? No, but there isn't one. I said oh. it would be funny if she had one on the counter next to the burnt napkin. Now yeah, you can true. see the burnt paper from the in the, on the on the counter. You see the burnt paper from the French fries, and then you see my other special hot dog bun that had the sesame seeds on it with the hot dog in it. That that was a complete fail. <laughs> so yeah, I had all of these different pieces. <laughs> Don't you hate it when perfect you have to bun. eat for failure? With yeah. that <laughs> it's tough when you have to eat your failure. <laughs> As long as it's got relish and onions, I'm good. Right. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Hey. These are these are really beautiful, man. Thank you. I, I homage to you, sir. Tacos. Absolutely. Yeah. My favorite food, for the sure. Carne, carne asada, street tacos, the ultimate mm -hmm. fast food. Street now, did you go and get those like from a truck and then bring them back and restyle them? 
No, I made every bit of that from scratch. Oh, okay. I stylized every bit of that. Well, it's it's well styled. I love the gradient that you've got coming in from the back. Your your um, ingredients look randomized, but they're not, and that's the hardest thing in the world to do. You know, um, and then your your tacos having it having it be sharp all the way up through here, a little bit out right there, just a little, just ever so slightly, but that still pulls our eye right back into the middle of things here. You're letting the light drop off, so these tortillas are not as bright as those so the plate just jumps off the page looks great all of this light in here looks so great and you've got the highlight on the lime and you didn't let the radishes burn out you kept the little thin slices of radish that's very nice that there's a tendency for that to blow out as as will white the uh, white parts yeah, of onion. onions yeah. yeah very cool Thank you. I like the shot. I think this is a uh, one of your one of your better food shots for sure. Good. Yeah. They must have learned something last year. Ah. You may have. You're We're just not salivating. Sure. You're just salivating. <laughs> okay, so you lit it from the side then. Yep. Speed light kind of at a forty-five. It was a little lower, maybe a 30, 30 degree angle. Just a bare yeah. you know, speed light, nothing, uh, and then the scrim. My good old shower curtain scrim. And no fill. No fill at all. No. Yeah. That's nice. You're, I, I would think your speed light is somewhere up in here. It's top right. You can see it. Oh, right there. I just lowered it. It was lower, but maybe six or eight inches lower. I just wanted Okay. So what that's doing is it's really lighting up this part of the, of the scrim. That's where your hot light is coming. Right. And I'm get, I want to get that shadow. Yeah. And that just... just all of this lights up nice and bright and wraps around uh, over into the this part of it, so it looks really good. Uh, but then it lets it drop into shadow because you didn't fill it. And I'm, I'm, you know, you know sometimes shots just scream out for fill. This does not. That's well, I, I really want. I thought the attention on the plate, you know, that's where I really was going because mm -hmm. I shot it just the plate. And that's when I started playing with the ingredients. Uh, I was playing with depth of field. I was also playing with my camera elevation, you know, shooting it almost not straight on, but a more oblique angle. And I just decided the shape of the plate was the, the container for the subject. Yeah, very good. That's very cool. Thanks. What lens did you shoot with? Uh, I believe that was, I was either, that was an 85. All right. All right, Linda, look at that. Hi. Hi. Subtle light, really subtle. You know, you first look at it, you go, it's kind of dark. And then you come down and you're going, yeah, no, it's not. It's just, I mean, that's white right there. That's nice. I want to see how you lit it before I even go any. Oops. That way. So this is your your light coming from front left. Is so my right? light is coming from front right. And, th and that is a, that it's kind of um, just on the side. And then I have black on the back, black on the left, and then a reflector in the front there, just a small one. Okay, so the light's coming from like where we are here? Yes. Okay. Oops. Oh, it's hard to figure out where the light's coming from in the shot. That's why I wanted to go see. That's really very nice. Very soft ambient. What did you do in post? Anything? Not very much. I um, took a sh I, I focused the front muffin and then I focused the back. So I had to stack those two. And right. um, that's basically it. Well, it's a, it's a nice exposure. Your blueberries look great. I love the little bit of uh, uh, powder, powdered powder, sugar yeah. coming off. Mm -hmm. And this, this um, surface you're using is very subtle, but it works really well and lets everything pop. That's a nice shot, 50 millimeter. Yes. 
what are your uh, what are your lights? Are these speed lights or? No, those are strobes. So you have modeling lights to work with? Yep. All right, good. Okay. Very good. Modeling lights really make it better for those of you who don't have them. They really do make it better. All right. Hi, Don. Hi, how are you? Panda Express. Yes. Okay. All right. I don't I don't know that this is an art shot of okay. it, but I do think that you're on to something. Okay. Okay. This, whatever that stuff is there, is the really, nose. really jumbled, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. These guys are symmetrical, almost like the mathematically perfect, right? What I'm thinking is you take this stuff here, bring it out onto the plate. So you got your box here, bring it out onto the plate, and then take one of these fortune cookies and place it right in front of it. Right now, I'm right now with the way it is now, I don't know which what is the subject. It's mm. hard for me to figure out with my eye what the subject is. So all I can think of is that the subject is essentially, is essentially the whole shot. Um, okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's let's tighten it up quite okay. a bit. Um, this this box here, compositionally, this box here is cropped off. This box is not cropped off. Uh, neither is the is the fork the plate is but it's going off this way but this guy should be in back of this flap a little bit so that we have dimension because we don't see it here as much so since we've already got these guys tumbling out onto here got this up front we've got the fork we can move this one over so it's just slightly behind this Bring this in tighter so that your shot is more like this. See what I'm saying? Okay. It, have this stuff tumbled out. Let's look at it and see how you like it. Lit, lit it. Okay. Got a flag. Mm -hmm. And the silver filler is it. So this light is going through that area there and hitting the silver. Yes, and I also have on the right, there's a big whiteboard for a filler. Okay, and it's all one light? Yes. Wow, that's a lot of coverage for one light. Your silver is doing a hell of a job over on there, here. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It actually really, really lets it up. Very nice, yeah, looks really cool. I'd stay with the one light. I would just take all of these things and kind of find the graphic the visual graphic the straight lines the horizontal lines that type of thing and work with that you've got a fork which is straight you've got the roundness of the bowl you've got the total um chaos of the noodles and the perfection of the uh, the cookie here just there's a there's a shot here i know there's a shot here okay so you just got to keep pushing it all right Okay, I will explore. Thank you. All right. Joey. For those Hello. That, for those of you that live in Upper New York, he's known, known as Joni, Joe the Boss Cosentino. The Boss. The Boss. Joe the Boss Cosentino. If you need something and you can't get it, you get a hold of the boss. You'll get He'll it. Take care of you. You take care of you. You got I thought from the shot it was Joey Cookies. <laughs> you got somebody that you don't want around anymore. You call him boss. All right, take care of you. This is great, Joe. Is it? That's a really I was frustrated. That's really thick. Whatever you have in there, right? It's just chocolate milk. Cho it's just milk. Milk, for, um, whole milk. I put in a bunch of chocolates. I made it myself. Oh, okay. So the chocolate's giving it a consistency. 
Yeah. Usually milk is just so thin. It just splashes everywhere. Right. No, I, I put in quite a bit of chocolate. I actually ended up with like quart and maybe another quarter of a quart af extra after I mixed it up. So this guy is Photoshopped in, right? They all are. They all are? Take him yeah. on, move him up here. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, a thought. So he just coming under that one. Okay. okay. Yeah. I don't like him down there. I want to see that handle. This is so clean from here down. So clean. And this is like where all the action is. You got that one going in, making the splash. We need this guy up here. Uh, fill in that space. I think that that's that'll be your shot. That's really nicely done. Thanks. Nice clean white background. That liquid highlight on here is just for looks. Yeah, like that a was a nice that was a nice splash. And I had like eight or nine good splashes and tried to composite some together. And for the life of me, I get them all layered up and then I just get lost. Still, <laughs> so you know I went that, back to the basics. There's a shop in New York City that sells uh, uh, or rents acrylic splashes. Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, they're really cool. You tell them what size the glass you have, and then you can go down and pick out like 15 acrylic splashes. They're very cool. Yeah, nicely done, man. I Thanks. just wanted to know how you didn't get a backsplash on that. <laughs> That's the part that baffled me. I'm looking at that going, shouldn't there be a splash going the other direction? From yeah, the other well... Side? It's it's a golf ball it dropped in. That was actually one of the first drops, and it came in from the back of the glass and just pushed the milk forward. Yeah, and oh. I, I see. You got to put the cookie back there to give it, you know, a reason to come forward. The mm -hmm. cookie is, you know, coming into the back. Now here's the thing: when you look at this, and how many did you say you did, Joe? Probably about fifteen drops all together. Okay. The photography is one thing. Cleaning up the set, oh, washing the glass, know. drying the glass, putting it back Clean. in position again Clean. and again. I didn't. I um, The glass is the original frame. And the milk ah, and the splash okay. is from one shot. Yeah. God, I wish we'd had Photoshop back in the day. Yeah. Good God. No, I, I wasn't because it was a mess. We and I had black tape holding the glass in place on the base. After I, after I did my initial shots of the glass, I taped it in place. We did a beer shot for the Diamondbacks. They had these great big steins that they were. It was like beer night or whatever they called it for the for the Diamondbacks at Bank One Ballpark. And we shot the beer, and it it held like four cans of beer. Hmm. So you know you. <laughs> You pour the you're pouring the beer in, but you got to wait and get that just that perfect head, right? Right. You're going through four cans to get that perfect head. Do the shot; it drips over. Now you got to pour it all out, clean the table, clean the stein, put it back up, refocus that stupid eight by ten camera, and do it again. We were that afraid they wanted us to drop a, a baseball into it, and that would that would, <laughs> that would do it. A challenge. I was going to drop a donut in the coffee, and then I thought about, no, no, no. I knew what I was getting into, and it's like, yeah, that's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, but this is the this is how you take advantage of Photoshop. You photo you Photoshop your glass, and then you just all you're doing is taking the top part, mm -hmm. the top part up here. Whatever happens up there is where the magic is. Yeah, maybe I'll post a couple of the other pictures to show you the mess I had. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a little swimming pool or something underneath your side? I have a, a drain that goes under a washing machine. It's only it's like an inch and a half deep. And then, then the board suspends across it. I think you'll see it in the behind the scenes. There you go. All right. Super. Yeah, because cool. especially with milk, that'll get everywhere and stink. Ugh. Yep. Well, there's plastic all over. Yeah. <laughs> and I just rolled everything up and just tossed everything. Oh, ended up yeah. covering both both soft boxes were covered with plastic. I had the one done there. And then my golf ball on a string so it doesn't go too deep into the cup. I've had um I've had dropped stuff before and broke the cups. So now I measure it out so it doesn't hit the bottom. Oh, that's oh, a good idea. Is that a shower pan? It's uh goes under washing machines. 
Oh, okay. I got it from got it from Lowe's a long time ago. That'll work. That'll really work. It, just, that is, it catches a lot of fluid. Like this, you gotta you gotta cover your soft boxes, folks. Yep. No, oh, yeah, that's that white paper was all chocolate milk and chocolate, the chocolate milk doesn't do well <laughs> on uh, on the on your uh, soft box covers. They just not a good idea. No. <laughs> yeah, super. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. Thanks. Oh wow, Isabel! Wow. <laughs> This is like Rembrandt painting. Kind of uh, Caravaggio? <laughs> yeah. He was oh, ahead yeah. of his time. He knew about popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old, an old snack. That's really nice. That yeah. is really nice. And it's a couple of things that I'm struck by. One is the juxtaposition of the time frames of popcorn which is very modern and the very old here. You've also mm -hmm. used the, the color of the popcorn to just jump out of this picture. Really, really nice. The addition of this little guy down here is perfect because if this had only been the only brightest thing in here, it would almost look contrived. Yes. And so this this little little guy down here, I don't know what that was, a rat or something? I don't know. I think it's a squirrel. I think probably I just found it when I was walking uh, um, in the pot and, and, and some near here in my house. Oh, you, you didn't find it like in a cupboard or anything, right? No, no. Okay, thank God. That, that just, <laughs> no, no. That would just be wrong it. on a lot of different levels there. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then you'd say, well, I know what that smell was last March, dear. No, no. <laughs> no, I just found it. Yeah, this is so pretty. Your light in here is so pretty. All of this. How much Photoshop is into in this? No, actually, I, I don't use Photoshop. I use Lightroom only. Light, okay, mm -hmm. how much Lightroom then? Um, not a little bit of the contrast and um, highlights and shadows. Yeah, it's really nicely done. A 70D ISO 100 F10. What was the lens? Uh, 20, it was a uh, um, Tamron um, 1750. Okay. At, at 23, I think. Yeah, was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Slight wide angle of 23 is, I think, the same as about a mm -hmm. 35 or a 45, somewhere in there mm -hmm. um, on the full frame. That's really pretty. What I like so much is that there is such a strong feeling of side light here that you, we just know it's lit from the side. And then get over here and we got the little telltale, little bit of fill, little bit of fill. We don't even see it, we just feel it. And that just rounds out this picture so nicely. Thank you. Yeah. Boy, totally different look when you look at the behind the scenes than when you yes. look at the shot. Isn't you it? see, I, I, there is the there is the picture. Um, the the photo is in the camera. Uh, that's that's the right. Yeah, really, really, really nicely done. Uh, this is a white card on the back. Of this yes, I, I I have this is um kind of a big. Oh, color, got so. it. Yeah, it's the the dull silver, right? Um, I don't know. Is this a cake you use it for cakes? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's it's not chrome. It's 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 very shiny, but it's a little bit dully shiny. It's mm -hmm. like the the backside of aluminum aluminum foil. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. By the way, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned in this class. If you want a really interesting, really nice, unique looking fill. Use the inside of a coffee bag. If you open up a Starbucks coffee bag, it's got this silver aluminum in it. And I, and I thought it was only Starbucks, but it's in Trader Joe's. It's in several different uh, things. They put this aluminum inside. It's very polished, but it's not chromium. It's a, it's a, it's a blend of a whiteboard and a silver board. It's like right in the middle. It's very nice. You can get a good piece of it about this big for a card. Great for bouncing a little bit of light in when you don't want it to be too specular. Very nice, Isabel. Beautifully done. 
Really, really nice. Where's Julie? There's Julie. Julie, what is this? It always, what is that? Is that a... It's like a like a candle or something coming out of that? Or is that the string you use to, to hold it up? I can't hear you, Julia. You're, you're not me, I can't hear you. Is it a drip of the honey, maybe? Because that looks like honey or something dripping on it. Well, it's maple syrup. Yeah. Oh, that's the syrup coming down then. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Got it. Got yeah. it. All right. I love how you just, I love how this, the, the syrups are kind of at an angle here. And this is coming straight down. It's really interesting. Wow, Julie, this is a really cool shot. You oh, went for you. really super sliver thin depth of field yeah so was, you know afterwards i wasn't sure whether i made it too near too uh well, i think it works on this shot because it's just enough what's the word am I, i'm looking for um it's, it's just enough outside the normal look of the food yeah that it works and i think that depth of field helps it work very well thank you yeah, the fact that the uh, skewer is out of focus, I mean, it's just this surface here and the surface of this, and right. I don't even know what these things are. You're putting syrup on it, so I, don't, I can leave it, it out. It's a little pow um, cinnamon powder, because it's apple cinnamon waffles, so I put a little. Okay, all right, all right. When I first saw it, I thought it was yellow squash and chicken, so. <laughs> Well, it could be, but it's not. Dripping that barbecue sauce they have at Safeway, they have a, a barbecue sauce. It is pumpkin spice barbecue sauce. Oh, God. <laughs> pumpkin everything. Yeah, it's for, for those of us who just can't get enough pumpkin spice and put it on, right. our, on our ribs. Uh, no, thank you. And that's the behind the scenes. Just a question. Was that a composite? Yes. Yeah. Because okay. I, I, I just wanted noticed to... at the bottom. Yeah. I thought maybe it was my screen, but at the bottom, it looks like maybe some artifacts left there from one of the composites on the bottom of the down there. On the bottom of the five to four, there's like the white is a different color. Yeah. There. Yeah. There. Yeah. That should be smoothed out a little bit. You know, okay. That I didn't see that before, but there's something it's like a ghosting happening there. I wonder what that is. Um whatever it is, it's really easy to fix. You just yeah punch it out. Yeah. Yeah. I um had to put like paper towels everywhere. So it might have caught a little bit at the bottom. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of messy. Yes, it is. All right, very, very, very good. Thank you. Yep. And your lighting was just right. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a little bit of a piece of paper towel coming up and it's white on right. white, so we can only just see a ghost of the image of it. Yeah. Nice. This is plexi? Yes, which these was little, good um, because you can wash it off. Yeah. yeah, these little shooting tables, you can get them at Amazon for, they're under $100. Yeah, I got it a long time ago, and it, yeah, it works perfect for things like yeah. this. Yeah, you just clamp your your little uh, plastic up here and clamp it down here, and you got a nice little sweep. You can light it from the bottom or the back, what have you. Yeah, it works pretty cool for product, sure. Norm. Yeah, hi. Hi, Norm. How are you? Pretty well. How are you? Good. She made a pallet of Quickie Mart condiments right color right. all right I'm trying to combine the fast food and the artist food artist sure thing to a concept here sure it got, it got kind of messy but the only problem that i have with this is kind of a fun quirky shot is yeah. this face here 
Oh. You've got this space and then this really big space and this small space. So this space jumps out. It just, when you look at the shot, you see the space. You need yeah. to line this ketchup up with this one a little bit more like that and bring that yellow packet in here. So the palette and the yellow packets real narrow there, but there's that much space yeah. over here. That's yeah, what you've that. got to yeah. even out. So if you still have this and you can reshoot it, that's what I'd tell you to do is to reshoot it. So those things are just perfect. The way to get these packets to be perfect, by the way, is to, um, what is it we did? Uh, just put a little wad of paper, as long as the packet is behind them. And then you put the paper down on it. So you've got your, let's say your ketchup thing, right? Put a little piece of paper behind the ketchup, like rolled up paper, about like that, right? Yeah. Push the thing down on it and the that will come up and the packet will look like it's full of ketchup and it won't have these these funky edges on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've fiddled <laughs> like around this. with that a lot. Yeah, you, you did a great job with it. Those are really hard to do. That's a really fun idea, my friend. Yeah. The concept it, shot. It's fun. It was messy putting the stuff down and uh I think I think when you redo it, I'd put two hot dogs up here from the grill you know so yeah. they got the grills on them and i was thinking it. it needed something up there but i wasn't yeah. sure what what to put and i didn't i didn't have a whole lot of resources available at the time but then if you get to the idea. store today i think the hot dogs are only uh 71 dollars for a six, <laughs> six of them but uh <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's okay. for the, the safe we is putting in a loan officer now for beer. That's really yeah, nice. I yeah, right. Get time. the week old hot dogs and maybe I can get a deal. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Well, it was fun. The, the way you can make the hot dogs look like you've barbecued them um, is what they do is they take, you can get the little grill things. You know, they're inexpensive. You can get them at Home Depot, the little cheap grills. You take yeah. a propane propane heater and you get it really hot. You take the oh. hot dog and you just roll it across the hot dog and you get the bands, right? Yeah, yeah. Then you just take it and put it in the oven for about, in the broiler for about a minute and it makes the hot dog sweat. And then when you pull it out, it looks like it came right off the grill. Okay. That'd be fun. That'd be really, that'd be really fun. Yeah, if I get a chance to get back to it, I'll, I'll pull around sure. this more. Yeah, lighting is right over the top, which makes sense. And you took you took food as art, as literally. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, Bob Ross would be painting a happy little happy little mush mustard tree right up here. Happy little tree. <laughs> happy little cloud. All right, Carl. Well, Where's Carl? Hi, Don. How's it going? Good, Carl. Wow, man. That's uh that bad boy's flying. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, by the way. You kept your yeah, this took a long right. the believe it or not, the hardest part about this is balancing all the parts on the fishing line. Cause I'd have one piece fall off and then it'd knock everything off, and then I have to start over again. Oh, you did it in one shot. Yeah. Never do it in one shot. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no never do it in one show oh, yeah because everything is dependent on everything above it it's like total calamity when something crashes yeah yeah no, it took me like shot. an hour that's just a, to that's a, get that's a balance engineering feat good job there with that <laughs> uh i was saying you you've got your angle right you're down a little bit on this bun you're up a little bit on this bun as it should be and the way i would do it if i was doing one at a time carl yeah. Is you put the bun at the top, so you got the angle right there. Put the ton of this one, and then you put these. These are all dangling by themselves, but at the position here. So this one hangs down to here. This one hangs down to here. You see what I'm saying? They're oh, down okay. here. And that way, your point of view from your camera doesn't change. If you shoot them all straight across from the camera and you put it into the sandwich, you're going to go, doesn't look right. Why doesn't it look right? That's what it's going to be. We're looking down a little bit on top of that chicken patty. We're looking up a little bit at the tomatoes. So, and then straight across with this because you did it in one shot. All right, man. Yeah, it was a lot of Photoshop too. I think 
before I've done fishing line. And I think a big difference is how thick the fishing line is. Cause this was like way too thick. It was all I could find was 20 pound line. So I think like one or maybe five pound line is much better. Cause you don't really see it in the shot like this. I had to Photoshop a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you put a big, you put a bright light on your background here. Yeah. So if you're, if you've got enough light blasting on this background here to make it gray, that fishing line is going to pick that light up. No doubt about it. So yeah, no, it's just way too thick. Like yeah. I think just for anybody else, if you want to use fishing line, look for the thinnest stuff you can find. Yeah. Let's look how you, let's look how you uh, put it. <laughs> so the award for making it harder than it had to be goes to Carl <laughs> and I. <laughs> oh, oh my wow. gosh. Yes. Yeah, so I tried different backgrounds too. Yeah, yeah, cool. Well, good for you, man. That's a lot of work. You went through a lot of work for that shot. Um, and it looks really, really cool. All are all all you can grab all of these, right? Oh well, new Photoshop, you can grab each one. I would just simply bring these this distance closer. Okay. On each one of them. Bring this bun down to here. Bring the tomatoes down to here. Bring the lettuce down to about there. Uh, and then, you know, just crunch it up a little bit. The space between them, I think, is is too much. Okay. Now, for an ad, if someone was doing an ad, this would be a great image for an ad because they could talk about, you know, what they're doing and actually run the text between the burger. Ooh, I like that idea, you know? Yeah, I think if I... I might even do it again with more ingredients just to make it like kind of uh, whimsical, I guess. Well, if you can you figure out like how someone... to get ketchup to float, let us just let us know a little squirt of ketchup just floating. Right yeah, there. I actually saw uh, a video of somebody else doing that. He like mentioned the same idea of like having squeezing. Uh, yeah, ketchup and mustard behind it. And I was like thinking about doing that, but then I don't know. I wonder uh, I thought if this is enough work like as it was. Plastic wrap. <laughs> Plastic wrap? Somehow, yeah. I wonder if you could do that on plastic for the ketchup and mustard. Put it on plastic wrap on the wire, and then somehow edit out the plastic wrap because yeah. I feel like you could. What what I I've seen a um, there's a, a retoucher in um, Cincinnati, and they took a, one of those red squeeze bottles, and then they would just squeeze it so the the ketchup would come gushing out onto wax paper at an angle, so it wouldn't okay. hit the wax paper and bounce up right. It would slide across. They did that and they got about 15 of them. And I, I'd swear half of those squirts look great. They look dimensional. Like you could pull yeah, them maybe. and put it in there. Look like it was hitting uh, the tomato or hitting uh, the lettuce, you know? Now he's yeah, a maybe I'll try and so he can those twist little anything. gaps with like the liquid somehow. That I'll, I'll, think, I'll think I'll try that. It'll be a real, real challenge, I think. Make sure you got plastic over your, um, your uh, soft boxes because Okay. Just like chocolate milk, ketchup ain't good for it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Onion rings. Oops. Onion rings with copy lines. Hold on. There we go. Hi, Lauren. In nice I and tight. I got yeah. It. Nice and tight. Oh, the, the, the onions are almost like a, almost like on another layer. Are they below glass they or something? They are the, the cooked onion rings are on uh, clear plexi that's it's held up up by box and then the red onions are under underneath with a uh, I got a flash flashlight lap the red onions you can see the the highlight on that top top red onion yeah and I can see the shadows from the red onions there <clears throat> and then I've got a, a, a two by three actually a two by three soft box box uh, in close. Uh, from 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 above top. That's a that's a very nice shot. Really good concept. Done well. Done well. My smells like onion rings for the past two days. <laughs> Is it focus stack? No. You just got the right angle with the lens because it's sharp as a tack back here, isn't it? Yep. ISO 100, 24 to 120. Do you remember where you were? 85 mil. What's that? 85. 85? Yep. That's 
Really nice, man. That's really nice. Those were a uh, for, those were difficult to shoot. I spent two days working with diff different setups and tried focus stacking. I've I've tried <clears throat> different type of lighting sitting situation. Uh, and then I actually had this con this concept last night, and uh, sat there and molded over and came down came down the street this morning looking at it and cleaned up the the plexi and and set it up and shot it. Very nice, man. Really well done. Thank you. You should be super happy with that shot. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Amy bought a new hat. <laughs> Fascinator. <laughs> How to pick up lonely cops. <laughs> right here. That's really cool, Amy. What a great concept shot. Yeah. Thank you. I love how she did it too, Don. The behind the scenes cool. Yeah. I just wanted to get a natural shadow on her face. Right. So you just that for it. And then I ended up having to add a little bit on her nose in a separate layer. But worked out pretty quick, pretty easily. And you know, compositing wasn't that difficult. No, I think I think when I look at it. I think I want you to darken this up here. Up there too? Okay. Yeah, because the where the light is, if we're thinking motivational light, mm -hmm. you know, coming in here, it's going to be darker up here. There's no reason that is lit up. Okay. Because this isn't lit up. If you had a hair light going or a, mm. you know, donut light, <laughs> <laughs> it would make sense. But I think that, that right. you've got your light coming in, you know, pretty much side lit, right? And we can tell that yeah. from the way the light mm -hmm. side light this this donut's gotta start going darker up there. Okay. Yeah. I give it that. That is really cool. Well done. Thanks. Super well done. Is that uh oh I was gonna say Patrick the Marshall yay yeah yeah you yeah. Did. yeah. <laughs> Copy my that. favorite images. Yeah. He just passed, didn't he? Yeah. He just he just passed. I think about a month a month or two months ago. I got to watch him shoot in yeah. New York City. He was remarkable. Very quiet, very serene guy. He sat down to shoot his film shooting 35 anybody know why he would sit down it wasn't because he was tired he was a big man he was like six two was it angle of view angle of view since i have that problem you're standing up here and then when you're shooting a hasselblad the hasselblad is here down mm -hmm. here right so right. if you want the Wait. same angle that you're used to shooting your hasselblad you've got to sit down because you know bending over from the waist to shoot isn't going to work very long so you sit down and then what you're doing is you're putting the your model here body legs you're if we're standing up shooting we're shooting basically down on the model that's why fashion is done, generally done with a longer lens so if you go with a hundred millimeter lens then you're not shooting much of an angle down on the model if you're shooting with a 200 millimeter lens these things are practically straight so if you want to see the height of the heel and the model's head, you've got to go with a long lens, 150, 180, somewhere in there. Then when we go to the 35 and you're standing up here shooting, I mean, with the, the Hasselblad, you're sh shooting right from the middle. So it's even. Hasselblad's like the tummy, right at the tummy. So it's even everywhere. So you don't need as long a lens and you get this unique right at them angle and so to keep that angle when you're shooting 35 you sit down he um i learned a lot from one afternoon i one of the things that i learned was never let the model stop moving never let the model stay if she stops moving and you take the picture then she's in control of the shoot she moves stops you take a picture she moves stops you take a picture the model can't see through the camera. She can't run the shoot. That's up to you. 
And that's why you don't ever shoot a subject, a, a person with a rhythmic, you know, click, click, you know, click, boom, boom, click, boom, boom, you know, boom, because the models start going boom, 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 and you don't get anything worth worth it. You just have the model start here and go here and you click randomly. Click, 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 click. That's how you do it. That's how you keep that that beat from starting to evolve. And the model stays more fluid and you catch all the, the greats. If if you're not familiar with Patrick's work, oh Lord, you should take it, take a look. He's one of the best. Super cool. Thank you. Super cool. <clears throat> Well, we sure dwindled fast from the first class, didn't we? <laughs> we went from 47 to 25, I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, the way it goes. Any, uh, any questions about next week? Candy. Candy next week. Oh, candy. Weeks. Okay. All right. Are you guys having fun? fun? Yeah. All right. So candy is art. Yep. Can candy be described as sweet? Yeah, I mean it. Yeah, yeah. I if you did if you did sweet cookies, I would probably not complain. Um, but it's really not. It's really not cake or or cupcakes or something like that. Really not baked goods. Um, but uh, yeah, candy like you know. Um, and if you send Don sweet cookies. He definitely won't complain. That's right. That's right. And, and thank you for bringing that up. I know a lot of you are going to go out and buy, a, a, you know, candy and sweet stuff and then not want it around the house. And I'll get you my address. <laughs> we, have a, we have a disposal unit here called grandkids. Now, my daughter tells me when they, she drops the grandkids off, don't give them sweets. And I try to explain to her, I'm Papa. Papa doesn't say no. <laughs> Dad, how could you? I raised you for 18 years. We'll just call this payback. Payback. <laughs> so, all right, folks, everybody have a great evening. Thank you so much for coming out. I hope you're learning something and I hope uh, uh, that you uh, that makes your photography better. And uh, we'll see you next fun. time. Thank, Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.